Welcome back everyone. In our first episode, we introduced the Salesforce Service Cloud Omnichannel. And today we'll be diving deeper into its transformative capabilities. I am Pooja Vignesh Kumar, a marketing professional at V2 Solutions. And I'm excited to be joined again by Harshal Vora, VP of Sales and Customer Success at V2 Solutions, and Rick Tuttle, Senior Client Specialist at V2 Solutions. Welcome back, both of you. Thanks, Pooja. Uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you. It's good to be back. Great. So together we'll be discussing how Omnichannel unifies customer touch points and also explore cutting edge technologies like Amazon Connect and more. So what's your opinion about it, Harshal? I'd like, I love to pick your brain and know what you think about this platform, how it stands out from the other platform and it's reshaping the customer service landscape. Yeah, no, uh, uh, for a quick recap, right, I think we, uh, we discussed a, or a lot of the tools last time, uh, all the way from Salesforce, Service Cloud, to ServiceNow, uh, Sugar CRM, uh, Zendesk, uh, and others, right, I think, um, or even Jira, uh, JSM. Uh, and all of these tools are amazing, great uh, capabilities um, to service your customers better. But uh, one of the tools that stands out in all of this, and I have seen first-hand experience of it, is uh, Salesforce Service Cloud and the whole ecosystem the Salesforce platform provides. Uh, it's uh, amongst the uh, best of the breed that is available in the market. And it's a very powerful tool for managing your customer expectations, whether it's B2B customers or B2C customers. Uh, with uh, the capability of integrations across multiple channels. And now with this uh, advent of AI, uh, integrations of multiple uh, LLMs or multimodal L LLMs, I should say, uh, I think it has been one of the best hands down tool, uh, whether you are leveraging email channel or uh, phone calls, or even for that matter, uh, service desk request. Absolutely, Herschel. And, and, you know, so, you know, Salesforce Omnichannel addresses, um, you know, the issues of really consolidating, you know, different, different sorts of touch points. So, you know, phone calls, emails, live chats, as well as social media into one really aggregate, aggregate or, or unified system. So um, as far as Omnichannel goes with customer, customer support, if say, for example, if I have a problem with a product, um, I can actually tweet, um, tweet that problem over X and that can actually then open up a case to where that is then routed to uh, the appropriate product team um, that can then um, resolve that issue. And um, it, it, it's the same for, for other you know, modes of communication like emails or, or live chats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That sounds very interesting, both of you, uh, Harshal and Rick. So um, I just want to know, it integrates everything into one platform for agents to manage instead of bouncing between the platforms? Yeah, it's uh, actually pretty uh, seamless, right? And uh, uh, it comes with inbuilt integrations with all the platforms. And that's the beauty of this omni-channel, right? Uh, when we talk about omni-channel, this allows you to capture interactions from your social uh, media um, like X or Instagram or Facebook or um, any kind of or even TikTok, right? And it automatically turns that into service cases as Rick mentioned, right? And if I uh, take that into uh, one step further, right? For example, what Rick just said, right? That, hey, I tweeted about uh, something about my order that I am not satisfied with or there's an issue with my order it will create a, a ticket into the Salesforce ecosystem. It will redirect to the uh, correct agent and it will also assign it back to the product management team to say, hey, this is the issue that has been faced by so-and-so uh, customer and it will have the historical data assigned to that particular customer record in Salesforce as well. So it's not only giving that... Um, uh, or reading uh, from all the social media in, uh, interactions, but it pulls in all the customer history and assign it to the correct agent 
for the next best action. Absolutely, and it and it goes back to the you know the the unified queue, which basically is capturing everything in one place, you know, including email, chat, social media. And then, of course, the omni-channel functionality, which uses intelligent routing. So then you can assign cases based upon agent availability and skill sets. Um, and, and also those cases are assigned uh, based upon urgency and importance using what they call priority-based routing. Okay, so what that really means is you know, if I'm a, if I'm a customer where I have a, a, you know, I've spent a lot of money with customer X. Um, if I have a, a, a case that's high priority, it's going to go to the top, the top of the, the queue um, versus, you know, some other, you know, lower level case, it's not high priority. Um, that's going to then go to the bottom, bottom queue. So one example, you know, that I think I, that, that is relevant is for example, um, I had an issue with um, a, a mobile carrier where I was a customer for over 15 years. I was on LinkedIn and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm just going to get in touch with them now and, and basically say, Hey, look, you haven't really provided me that great a service here in the last 15 years. I've never, you've never really tried to keep me as a customer. And I posted that on LinkedIn and within two hours, I had a response from their customer support team. So once again, they're capturing uh, all that information, you know, from different modes of communication, and that's going into one queue uh, versus like 10 years ago where customer service agents were literally swivel chairing back and forth to different systems. They were going in and out of different systems. So this is a much more efficient process. And once again, we're going back to a better, a much better customer experience. Yeah, and exactly right. I mean, when you have multiple inquiries or multiple uh, customer requests coming in all together, uh, what helps you is this whole capacity-based routing, right? Uh, based on the capacity that you have uh, within your call center or within your customer support agents, it will assign uh, and route to the right agent based on the priority, based on the severity of the issue. And also, um, get you in front of the line if needed. Absolutely. And, and, you know, we, we talk to a lot of customers and one of the main issues that they really complain about is, you know, some, some agents are overloaded um, during peak times. And while others have free, you know, their free capacity they they got plenty of time to talk to other people. So to address this issue, uh, Salesforce enables agents um, to really set their own availability status. Okay, so if I'm busy, you know, cases are not going to come to me. Um, they're going to go to another uh, agent, and vice versa. When uh, you know, when when I've when I've completed all my cases and I have available, uh, I have more time. Um, I can have those cases um, come to me. So once again, it goes back to really customer experience and directing those cases to people that have open availability versus other agents that are completely swamped. So um, what about calls? I mean, how does Omnichannel manage phone support? Is there a system where, you know, they handle over a phone call? Yeah, and, and again, when we talk about Omnichannel, it's, as I mentioned earlier, it's all the different touch points, customer touch points, whether it's your phone call or whether it's your uh, service desk or even your social media interactions with the customer, right? Uh, uh, phone call is a very important piece in the puzzle because uh, as a human, we want to just talk to somebody, right? If, uh, and, and there are multiple solutions out there which integrate into the Salesforce uh, platform uh, salesforce itself uh, uh, is going to come out i think they already have something in beta for the phone support but they integrate with uh, the service providers like oneage or talkdesk uh, and one of the other provider that we have implemented for some of the customers is amazon connect uh, and uh, I think the Amazon Connect platform is a cloud-based contact center platform, right? Uh, it integrates seamlessly into Salesforce with ready-made integrations. Of, also, you can transfer phone calls on your mobile. 
if you uh, are on uh, on your computer so uh, the customer agents can be anywhere and they can still uh, address the issues that uh, the customers might be facing so uh, Amazon Connect is also leveraging a lot of AI tools, uh, specifically for next best action, intelligent routing is also part of it. it so absolutely. And, and so Amazon Connect's integration, um, calls can be routed the same, the same way as emails or chat, okay? Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's voice interactions that seamlessly enter into the omni-channel queue also, um, higher priority, you know, technical issues are automatically prioritized based on the customer profile um, and then directed to the right agent. Um, also, what's really nice about Amazon Connect is it can measure customer sentiment. So if I'm on a call with an agent and I'm sounding a little perturbed, <laughs> um, that, that particular call can be flagged um for for um additional support yeah and, and, and that's uh, the beauty of this whole amazon connect ecosystem right it's uh, a well connected ecosystem with salesforce and just to give an example for one of our uh, uh customers who is in real estate they have customer agents in the field and they have customer agents in the contact center as well and they were facing the issue uh, before they implemented this whole amazon connect uh, phone uh, support or the contact center support was call drop uh, and call routing issues, right? Because getting the right uh, customer field agent who is in that particular area uh, and getting the call routed to that particular person uh, was a challenge. And this is specifically in the construction and real estate. Um, if uh, they're looking for a plumber who needs to go and do a service in, in, on a particular property, Get a, getting a plumber in that particular locality uh, or in that particular geography uh, and getting hold of that so that a customer can directly talk to that particular uh, field agent was something, a challenge. So Amazon Connect helped resolve those kind of issues, right? The call drop issues or uh, call routing issues when we implemented that. Uh, so that's where, and it integrated seamlessly with Salesforce. So Salesforce had all the customer data as soon as the, uh, um, agent who picked up the phone, the agent would be able to get all the details about the customer, where they're calling from, what is their property address, what exactly the history of their service has been. And based on all those things, they will be able to help them uh, in a better fashion. So again, it gives a 360 degree view. Uh, for uh, the support agents, whether they are in the field or uh, in, in an office uh, to serve their customers in a better fashion. Yeah, so, you know, speaking of, of you know, we, we've all came back from Dreamforce <laughs> and, uh, and we, all, we all have heard of this new thing called Agent Force, um, <laughs> which, is, which is basically it's, it's, it's augmented agents. Um, so these agents are, you know, they're incredibly efficient. Um, they're capable of really fully resolving cases without any human interaction. Uh, so once again, it, it's allowing support teams to focus on more complex tasks. Also, what's really nice is you're blending AI with human efforts, okay, for real, real-time data-driven assistance. So we're not completely getting rid of people, but we're augmenting them with resources that can provide them with uh, with with a faster, uh, more efficient time, um, getting those cases resolved quickly, um, and and once again, it, it's going back to handling repetitive tasks without any human interaction. Yeah, and, and the best part of this whole agent force or autonomous agents is that you don't need uh, a, a great uh, experience coding all those. Right, it can be spun up in a matter of few hours. Uh, and without much knowledge of coding. Uh, and since they already have pre-built templates, they have those prompts, they're specific to each industry, it basically integrates seamlessly with Salesforce only channel capabilities and these agents uh, enable the uh, support uh, uh, teams to autonomously help their customers across all the channels 24-7 uh, uh, without 
any major challenges and this advanced personalization right it's we 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 saw what it did uh, in the uh, keynote session as well that this is a, a personalization provided through contextual insights uh, uh, and customer sentiments so that's where the next uh, uh, i feel the next uh, agent driven omni channel customers uh, experience is going to be it's been a fascinating journey through salesforce omni channel capabilities from unifying customer interactions to integrating amazon connect agent force and more we've explored how this platform can streamline customer service and boost efficiency as we wrap up this series on omni channel we're excited to shift gears for our next episode where we will dive into transformative role of ai in customer engagement join us next time for a deep dive into how ai is reshaping the future of service and support thank you to everyone for joining us today and we will see you midweek of october for more exciting discussions and engaging conversations